Actually, when then you change to your tennis, but you've got this there, you can move, man. in my hand which was uh, necessary because my small finger was starting to it's a genetically a genetic disease you know? okay so I cannot play tennis now with my left hand but I feel the tremendous difference in my back when I play only with my right hand in 30 minutes I feel this pain in my back and if I play for three hours with both hands there's nothing so I compensate by playing this because this is this I can do I don't have to close my palm so this is it and I see this fantastic you know coordination fast movement routine okay anticipation okay very good okay, let's play these half ways So what you do? Take a table tennis racket, and you do the same on the left hand side, ne? with your left hand. There's a compensation for your back. Okay, you cannot play mastic, so you may only have half voice. And, and what? You're running with your legs all the time. Okay, another kind of coordination exercise. 
got two table tennis rockets. exercises for a tennis um, preparation if you make it with your table tennis rockets okay catch it and catch it and catch it and catch it okay other side backhand forehand it's not so easy as you think so it doesn't does not jump hop 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 Hop, hop, okay, then oh, the easy one and catch it and catch it and don't don't crush it catch it eh? ah, catch it it's for kids ne? make great fun bah. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Not so easy. Okay. Okay. The egg falls down so that it gently touches the surface of this block without getting into it and without sticking in the piece of wood I move also in a physiotherapeutically correct way okay I do not damage my spine put the block again change the hand always look that around I have a lot of free space and swing again Okay, so basically the movement is I pull it down and let it swing. One, 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 okay? And by the forward swing, I grab it, hold it, and continue the movement without stopping it. Because we know in Qigong, and I try to exemplify it also in tennis. Uh, now, if the movement is going, you just think you don't stop the movement. It's better even to turn around. Well, you will not turn down here, but as you pull it down, swing, goes up, you get it. In this moment, I stop it now, you press the lower part of the egg, the bar forward, and it just helps you to get it hot. Here you wait until it comes to hold by itself and then as the gravitation starts to put it down you go down okay with it and you give the actual force you use is the vertical force you go it down and at the same time naturally you keep the position of your spine upright breast forward chin rear to the back 
so that there's a dynamic stability and as the X is switching down you mentally send a stream of energy through your spine upwards so that it can, comes out from this bahui from this utmost point at the top of the cranium of the skull it shoots out it comes from here from below from the ground through here the pelvis and the spine between the shoulder blades neck and shoots out because what sometimes happen you know it from tennis and whatever um, if you make a heavy stroke with your arms your head is wiggling yeah? and this is dangerous for your neck so you should stay upright and as this principle of yin and yang one force goes up one force goes down this is harmony equilibrium and so uh, this becomes a ritual of some kind so that you have this uh, this part of swinging in which there should be no stopping and then you have the gravitational forces then you have the harmony of the forces and then you have the inner body awareness of all those parts in harmony it's inside you so once again Okay, so and then in this way it will go and go and on. Let's see if I have, have taken it. Okay, so.